Hey guys, how are you? Uh, my name is Michelle Ntalami and I am the CEO and founder of Marini Naturals, which is actually East Africa's first hair care line for all men and women of natural African hair. And uh, here we are at my offices today. So nice to meet you all. So actually the Marini Naturals journey began um, four years ago. I've always been an entrepreneur. Uh, I've been in business for, I'd say, eight years now. First, I began with a branding and marketing company called Brandvine Group, which are still these offices that we are in today. And then Marini Naturals began um, a little later, so just four years back, when I decided that um, I was kind of done with just living a very unhealthy lifestyle. I was done with chemicals and anything synthetic in my body, on my skin. So I decided to snip, snip away my hair and grow it afresh naturally. And then once I did that came the challenge of, okay, how do I maintain my hair and how do I take care of my hair? And there was nothing at that time, 2013, 2014, there was nothing at that time in the market that could cater for um, a woman who's grown out her hair in a very natural, kinky way. So that's what made me make the decision to actually begin my own hair care line. And I didn't feel the need to be a big multinational, uh, L'Oreal or a Revlon to do this. Um, I knew that as long as I have the passion and the determination, I could be able to do this myself. I work with uh, Safaricom through a project of theirs called Blaze. And through Blaze, I've been able to see the genuine will, the genuine willpower of um, young boys and girls who actually want to go out there and be somebody, build their dreams. Um, most of them do not want to take shortcuts. So for me, it's been such an eye opener to see um, all these thirsty young minds looking up to me and saying, Michelle, show us the way, how did you do this? Um, so for that, I'm very inspired because even they inspire me. These are 19, 18 year olds. I mean, when I was 19, um, the last thing I thought was building an empire. And this is a 19 year old, actually the winner of, of the just concluded Blaze contestant is 19. She's the youngest and she wants to be a, a world, world renowned fashion designer. Um, but also on the flip side, I have seen uh, or rather have witnessed a few young girls especially who feel that um, there's a shortcut to success through just, you know, hooking up with someone way, way older than them, richer and sort of trying to get money out of them. For me, that's sad. Uh, I stand for everything that is not that. Um, my personal brand as Michelle is here to inspire especially young girls that you do not need to go that route. And something you should always, always remember, easy come, easy go. So as fast as it came to you, it's going to go that fast. You need to put in the work. There is no shortcut to success. There is no elevator ride to success. You need to take the stairs. Sometimes actually you need to climb the hill. I always say, you know, you, you get in what you put out. So you need to carry yourself in such a way that you will command respect. Um, and you will command, you know, people treating you like you are somebody in society. So for me, I, I honestly dispel the notion that women are treated second place. I have always been treated with a lot of respect by my peers, my colleagues, those above me, my mentors, um, my advisors, even my advisory board for Marini Naturals treats me with such respect and really, really take my opinion into consideration. But also as a woman, if you treat yourself, if you, how you carry yourself begs how people will treat you. So if you treat yourself like um, with lack of respect, undignified, not principled, um, tacky, shoddy, how you dress, your look, your image, then that's what you portray. That's the kind of treatment that you're going to get from men and women alike. Um, I mean, look at Michelle Obama. I think she's the prime example of a woman who carries herself with so much dignity. Um, really, if there's anyone saying anything bad about Michelle Obama, then they have a problem. If you look at how she carries herself, Margaret Kenyatta, our very own first lady, Amina Mohammed. I mean, these are women who are so dignified and do not necessarily let their gender come in the way of their success. So um, I'm young, I'm way, way younger than them, but I'm here to set an example that you can be as dignified and work your way to the road to success without losing your principles. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no shortcut, as I mentioned, to success. And also, why do you have to sit there and convince yourself that you're not good enough when God gave each one of us the power and the talent to be the best we can be? 
there's a saying I live by, one of my life mantras that says, why flatter down here with the chickens when you can soar up there with the eagles? So go out there, be somebody. My name is Michelle Talami and I am the founder of Marini Naturals, East Africa's first hair care line for all men and women of natural hair and soon to be a world-class brand.